There are countless reasons why people fish. In Texas, every year, anglers spend over a billion dollars on the sport. And there are plenty of lakes, rivers, and streams to fish. But there is an area of the state where fishing is more than a sport. Along the Texas coast, it's a tradition. Nice, Mac. Where's your uh... Thank you. Saltwater fishing takes many forms. For Pam and Irby Basco, it's fishing the deep water in the Gulf of Mexico. They're trolling 40 miles offshore, fishing for king mackerel and red snapper. So I'm just letting the line go all the way down to the bottom, and then I'm taking up just a little bit of slack, so I've got tight line here. Pam is a champion saltwater angler. She has set several world records in both the International Game Fish Association and the International Women's Fishing Association. It got to be a personal best of what I can do and what else can I do to, you know, to increase my experience on fishing. Can I get some world records? And so it's like, it takes a lot of fish to get a record, but then one day it's like you get one and you get two and then pretty soon, you know, you've gotten quite a few. Whoa! That's a red snapper. Look at this. My gosh. Holy cow. <laughs> For goodness sakes. Oh. How much do you think he weighs, Tom? I think he's by his length of 18 to 20 pounds. <laughs> I think what attracts people to saltwater fishing is when you put a bait in the water, you never know what's going to come up on the end of the hook. You can specifically fish for a certain type of fish, but Lord, there might be a 100-pound grouper when you're fishing for that two-pound snapper. So there's a lot of excitement there. I think, so. I think something was hitting at it. Uh -huh. so. Yeah, okay. something was playing around with it. Fish on. Fish on. No, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> this one over here. Structures like oil rig platforms create artificial reefs and an angler's gold mine. The rigs have all types of microorganisms that are attracted and adhere to the rigs, and then that attracts the smaller fish, which attracts the bigger fish, and so on and so on. So look at there. Look at that with him. Look at there. How many is, look, there's a school of them right there just following that fish along. My thought is that you, you come out to, like I say, get away from everyday worry and strife and so forth and you get mighty relaxed out here. Look at all this. Get relaxed and you can be in a company of good people and catch a few fish and release some fish. Goodbye, Mr. King. And there he went. Look at him swim off. Fun and fishing. That's uh, exactly what it's all about. The excitement of being on a boat in the Gulf attracts many to saltwater fishing. But others prefer a more subtle approach. Okay, guys, let's go find a fish. Fly fishing, the saltwater flats near Rockport, requires knowledge, skill, and patience. John Michael Collins and his brother Banning have all three. There's a lot more factors in saltwater fishing. There's the wind and the cloud and how much sunlight you have. The fish just settle down. They don't, they don't show where they are. And so you can't, really, you can't really cast right to them. Yeah, the redfish in this area tend to uh, fish on the bottom. And when they do so, the uh, tail sticks up. And that's the major sign of finding the redfish. I think you got to get a little more distance. Helping the brothers spot redfish are guides right. Chuck Neiser and Larry Sunderland. Pick it up, put it right back there. Good, okay. Pick it up again, put it out to the right. Good. It's overcast, windy, a west wind. We've got to find a fish that'll come up and say, hey, here I am. He's right here, right here, 10 feet. 
See him? See that tail? No, you're behind. Strip, 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 strip. Wait, he's right here. Put it right on it. See him? Right here. You're, back. you're on his back. Get in front of him. Go to the right. Strip, strip, fast, 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 fast. Oh, get in front of him. Get on his nose. You got to put it on his nose. Go again. <laughs> Is your heart beating? My heart beating. <laughs> Good. My legs are shaking. <laughs> they shaking. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Sometimes the fish win. One thing you need for um, fly fishing is patience. You can't rip things, you know, really go after it hard. Fly fishing, you do have to hunt the fish, and that gives it a little more sport. Go right down in here. I think we've got a fish right here. A little more right. A little right, a little right. All right, good cast. We're not takers okay. only. We need to put something back into the environment. And it's fine to take one home and eat it. I just, you know, I think when a fish is giving you a good challenge on your fly rod or however you catch it, you need to think, well, you know, this was kind of fun. If I let him go, he might do that again for somebody else or for me. Look at that. All right. I ate that fly. You know what I think we ought to do? What? I think we ought to let him go. All right, yeah. I really do. Nice fish. About 21, 22 inches. Be good table fare, but I think he'd be better back yeah. in the water. Let's get him going. There he goes. Well, guys, it was kind of an interesting morning. A little difficult, but we... Uh, we hung in there and made it happen. This is what Texas flats fishing is all about. I come down here in 1978 on vacation. I liked it so well, I stayed. I usually fish for trout and redfish. John Bowen lives the good life. He heads out nearly every afternoon to relax and catch fish. Well, I fish to, to eat them. Every, about every month or so, I get folks around the, my home there and we have fish fry and get together. Some of them like it and some of them don't. Caught a fish, I guess, was probably seven, seven and a half pounds. I put him in my ice box. He said he didn't want to be in there, so he jumped out. Jumped back in the water, and he had the smallest fish I had in the ice box in his mouth. Now I've got a drum. And you got a big drum of redfish on there, and you got a pretty good fight. Come on, babe. I used to want to catch one every time I threw out there, but now I just like to get away from it all. If, they, if I catch them good, if I don't, well, it really don't make me mad. There he went. Because if you catch a whole bunch of them, you got to clean them. If I couldn't fish anymore, I don't know what I'd do. Take up sewing, I guess. But uh, I'm going to do it as long as I'm able to do it. If I can get on this boat and go, I'm going to be fishing. Who fishes the Texas coast? Well, just about anyone who makes the effort. There's a variety of fish and a variety of methods to catch them. For the angler and fish alike, it's just a matter of taste. 